Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today we'll check this, the Deceder V3 Pro wireless gaming mouse from Razer. It's an ergonomic mouse which has nothing to do with the older Death header. This mouse is completely redesigned. We will do a quick unboxing, take a look on the specs and the shape, do some sound and quality check and take a look on the performance in gaming. And at the end, I will give you my pros and cons. So let's get started with the unboxing. As usual, a nice box from Razer. The mouse is nicely placed in it. I ordered the mouse in white, but it's also available in black. In the box, you will also find a manual, cable, adapter, the dongle, and additional grips. The mouse has the same function and design features like the Viper V2 Pro, same texture, it gets rid of RGB and docking station connection, and only one button for the power switch and DPI. Regarding the specs, it's a mid-sized ergonomic mouse, it's with 63 grams in the lightweight categories, it has the same 30,000 sensor as the Viper V2 Pro and the same optical switches. The scroll wheel is improved, the Death Adder V3 Pro is also compatible with the new 4K dangle from Razer like the Viper V2 Pro. So all in all, this mouse has nothing to do with the older Death Adder V2 Pro. The technical specs are on the new standard and the shape is different. In my opinion, they could have given it another name. So for people who like the shape of the Death Adder V2 Pro, please be aware that the V3 Pro shape is different. The palm support and the back is not the same. The tilt looks similar. Personally, for me, the shape is better. It's a big improvement. At some points, it reminds me a bit of the X-Lite V2, but more flat. Let's do a quick sound and quality test. Everything looks solid, no wrackle or crackling sound, the switches sound clicky like the Viper V2 Pro and very reactive. Side buttons on scroll wheel feels better in my opinion, so really solid quality mouse. I only noticed some sharp edges at the bottom front of the mouse above the PTFE feeds, which can be annoying when you press your mouse in the mouse pad, you feel the edges of the mouse touching the mouse pad. On the Viper V2 Pro, it has more space because the edges is designed with a chamfer and the Death Adder not. The grainy texture and coating is the same as the Viper V2 Pro. As usual, everything can be customized with the Synapse software from Razer. Now move forward to the most important performance in gaming. If you like ergo shape, this mouse is to consider. It gives your hands a natural support, but at the same time, you can have an aggressive script style like the Viper. This mouse combines comfortable mouse grip with aggressive play style. It's just great. I really enjoy playing fast first person shooter games with it. It's a great comfortable and reactive mouse. The PTFE fits out of the box feel great. Regarding the grip style, this mouse is more palm and claw grip style oriented. Fingertip grip can feel uncomfortable if you have mid to small ends. This mouse is maybe a bit too long for people with small ends. People who like the mini shape of the Pulsar X Lite V2 will feel uncomfortable with the Death Adder, but the feeling in first person shooter with control or fast tracking remains amazing with this Death Adder. So, to sum up, Razer bring another amazing mouse this year. It looks like Razer is taking the throne back as the best gaming peripheral brands. Other brands need to wake up. Regarding the price, well, the Death Adder V3 Pro with 160 euros or dollars is on the expensive side. This is probably my only negative point. But the Death Adder V3 Pro is the Ergo mouse with the best technical specification on the market right now. If you are looking for a new Ergo gaming mouse and are ready to pay 160 bucks, then the Death Adder V3 Pro is the one to get. It offers the best technical specification with the strongest sensor and best optical switches the world in a great redesigned lightweight ergo shape. A cheaper alternative is the Pulsar X Lite V2, regular size for 90 bucks, which is also available in a smaller version. So that is for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If so, please don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe or follow me on Twitter in order to not miss the next one. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.